Brooke Drassel with Brooke Drassel Equine Body Work. And I am going to talk to you a little bit about mares and their heat cycles. This is Penny, and Penny tends to have pretty intense heat cycles. So the heat cycles will tend to be March to September. They last about 22 days, and the first beginning of those days, a lot of the horses you're gonna notice, you're gonna have mood swings, uh, soreness in their body, irritability, those sort of things. So I'm gonna show you just a couple things that you can do for your horse that if you have a mare, it will be beneficial to you to maybe try these things because um, they can get pretty, they just feel not their greatest for a few days. So this will be, give you a few tips on how to help that out. Okay, so first I'm gonna begin by showing you kind of where your horse's ovaries are at. Um, and that is very much affected during the heat cycle. So the ovaries are, tend to be here. Some horses are back here, and some horses can all, get all the way up here. And when they're at their fullest point of heat, those ovaries can get really big. So a problem area, of course, then is going to start from about here and go back. So this is gonna be where they're gonna be most sore and holding most of their tension. So in order to help them out, just be mindful that they could be sore and moody at this point. So just be careful with how much pressure and everything you're putting with them. Just feed off of what they're giving you as feedback. So you'll start, and I like to just start up here at the withers again. And you're gonna work your way back. And just have a nice, firm hand and work yourself all the way back there. And you're going to do that like three or four times. Just get into that muscle and warm it up and have it be a little more supple. Then you can take the heel of your hand and you can run that all the way down your horse's back. And that can be a little firmer if, they're allo if she's allowing you to get in there. And I like to do that literally like five to 10 times depending on how sore they are. Then you can always take the heel of your hand and do like little mini circles all down the back to help relieve a little of that tension. Then once you've gotten through there and you feel like you were helped with relieving the tension, then make sure to pay attention to the hind end as well. So just run your hand down the hind end, do that a few times. And then if they're accepting of that, take your hands like this and just work back and forth along the hind end. And you can do this like a couple times just to loosen that up. Then if you have one of these, and they're accepting, you can use this, do both hands like this, and push down along the hind end. Just focus on this area right here, because over here you have your hip bone, over here you have your spine, you don't wanna hit either of those. And then you can work your way to the hamstrings and those, you just use a flat hand, run directly down, do that about three times. And then you can run it side to side if she's allowing. And you can do that about three times and, or as many times as it takes for her to uh, accept that. And then you should be ready to get on and hopefully that helps make her feel a little more comfortable and you have a little better of a ride. Okay, so just a few tips. So first would be if you're dealing with a little taller of a horse or if you just want to have a little uh, bit of an upper hand on where you're standing, I suggest using a mounting block, a little um, ladder, anything that's steady on the ground but you can get a uh, be above them because that's easier on your body and you can get a little more pressure in there. Um, the other thing that I recommended was one of these. Um, that I mean, you can get them at 
Target, I think, even, and they're just super nice to use if your horse is accepting of it. Um, and then one of the last things I can suggest is if your horse, you're still continuing to have issues with them being really tight in their back and it's surrounding the heat cycle and that sort of thing, um, you can also do FES, so that's functional electrical stimulation, um, and that would be something I would do. And basically what it does is it gets down to the core of your, the horse's muscles, so it helps to re-educate those muscles that have been spasmed, in tension, um, all those sort of things that the horses are overusing their back so much because they're trying to protect those ovaries. This will help kind of get them through um, anything like that and kind of help you get moving forward with your riding, help them get more comfortable, that sort of thing. Thanks so much.